Good morning, DFI1 students. I'm hoping that this will help you. Uh, I've had a couple of students, not many, but a couple of you that have asked some questions and seem confused about the, the final. So I do want to clarify uh, through this video. I am looking at your modules pages, okay? And I've got them collapsed. So yeah, these would normally uh, have the sub the assignments and supporting resources that go with each one of the modules. We did the landing page first, remember that. The second uh, site or page we did was the mini portfolio, which you've all done and completed that. And you have just completed the uh, boutique site with all of its multiple pages and the nuances there. Most of you did a really good job on that. Uh, on this last one, now module five is really, I mean, it's an assignment, but I'll go over that in a moment. Uh, module four or the equivalent of project four is I want you to design an email promotion, like an email blast that would go to someone. We're not going to really email it out, but using HTML, a lot of designers will design um, spam, if you will, uh, that spam that comes to your email account from The Gap or Barnes & Noble or whoever, uh, Starbucks. I mean, everybody sends out, and basically what it is, they got your email, somehow when you made a purchase online or face-to-face -face, and then they're going to follow up by uh, trying to get you to come back to their store, go to their website, shop online, etc. So what I want you to do, I want you to think of your boutique site as your store and I want you to create a one-page email blast. I created one for mine which was the green barrel and I'll show that to you in just a moment. Uh, so it's going to be one page but it will be in your project uh, four folder okay uh, right now you have a folder in there called CSS a folder called emails etc you can use the same elements that you used in your boutique like I did I'm going to jump over to Dreamweaver really quickly and I'll show you what I did uh, uh, I created a black I'm not going to show you the code because that's part of this final assignment I've been kind of holding your hand a lot uh, you're saying type this type this now do this but you guys have chunks and chunks of working code you should be able to take uh, your page uh, previous page begin to edit it and make this but the first thing you need to do is go to your uh, uh, root folder let me hide this for a moment I'm going to go to my root folder and yours looks you know somewhat like this you've got your landing page right here and the images the CSS just disregard that that's actually some extra stuff that I needed to get rid of but you've got your images that go with your landing page okay uh, you've got your project 2 which was your mini portfolio and then you've got your project 3 which is the boutique I've got a lot of extra files from the demo so don't worry about those or get confused by the word and then project 4 is where you're going to place this page it's a one page it's still going to be called index.html but what I did is I copied my images folder and put it in here. Oop, what did I just do? I don't want to delete that. Okay, yikes. Okay, I want uh, you to copy your images folder from project three. Don't just move it, but copy it and move it into project four. Yeah, you'll have a lot more images than you need. And then your CSS also. And then I would suggest that you take your contact page. The reason being your contact page was simple. It just had a header, uh, some text, and then a a form and then you had the footer okay I think you get the idea and then begin to edit that content now this is kinda of like a final exam you can help each other um, if you email me with specific questions like one question at a time sure I'll glad like I can't make something a line left or my padding screwed up on the header whatever I'll help you with that but I'm not gonna do it for you okay this is part of uh, the learning objective of this. This is kind of like your final wrapped up in this one page. Can you adjust the HTML and CSS to make a one page email blast and uh, that looks something like uh, this. Now you can do it however you want, make it look however you want. I wouldn't have a big giant um, page in the background. Let me go to this live view. Uh, let me jump back out of here. Trying to get it to fit here a bit better. 
Okay, what I was going to suggest is if you would just do this, uh, take your logo, put it in the center of the header, something like that. We don't need a nav bar because this isn't going to be a website. Have a headline, so I just said something like shop online for all your pickle needs. And then you're supposed to have your 200 plus words, some kind of verbiage, and I have some links in here. I didn't take the time to colorize and stylize those. I would if I were turning this in like you are. Uh, I've got a big general image. Uh, I've got a thumbnail down here that could be a link to something. And then I've got a footer. Okay, I just made up some text there, so don't put dummy text, Make write something. I uh, have a few links scattered throughout, So, because the idea of an email promo is to drive people to a website, a call to action, if you will. Okay, you get the idea. Like I said, I'm not going to show you the code, but what I did is I just copied the uh, contact page and uh, copied my CSS folder and images folder and put them in that project for and then just began building. Yeah, I don't care if you've got some extra images in that images folder, but make sure you use, uh, you meet the criteria of the assignment. So read it carefully, read it two or three times, make some notes. Okay, you've got to have so many images, so many words, got to have a header, a subheading, etc. And I think a footer is always uh, recommended. I left some links down here because uh, these links could drive people to specific pages. Like for example, it said, uh, You'll be happy as a cucumber once you do. So you can go to their website. I probably already said website, about us, store, uh, specials, whatever you want to do. Drive them to different pages of your website. Okay, that's enough about that particular assignment. What I want you to do uh, now, I want to go back and look at uh, uh, the email blast assignment. Let me look one more time, make sure there's not something I'm uh, overlooking. Must link from your landing page. Yeah, that third link, you know, uh, let me show you the landing page that I've got. Um, I think I had that in Dreamweaver. So your landing page, you did this many months ago, okay? Uh, your link should be something like this, you know, not just project one, two, three, four, but the mini folio, the boutique, this email blast, which is now the new one. And then revisions or overview, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll talk about this last. Uh, so if this had your bio, your image, repeat of the links down here. And some of you need to redo. Uh, in fact, everybody is supposed to redress every assignment. It's really it's just the first three. You're not going to have time to redress the email blast, okay? But the mini folio landing page and the boutique, anything that was given, I don't care if you had a 98% and I said you had a typo in the first paragraph, correct that typo. Because if you turn it in uncorrected, I'll take that as kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of arrogant to, to not want to go ahead and perfect it. You think, oh, that's just good enough. I probably would lower an additional letter grade because you just didn't decide not to redress according to the instructions, instructions given to you by your creative director. Okay, so tweak that, make it beautiful. If some of you maybe had a little bit too much blank space here, close it up, add some more text. Uh, make your padding look good, make your links work, etc. So these landing pages should go uh, to those different sites. I've just got it here in Dreamweaver, so they're not actually jumping over. It's not in a browser. Okay, uh, so back to the criteria. Uh, read each one of those, okay? And like I say, you don't have to start from scratch. You can actually take your contact page. You could take your index page, but it had a really complicated content area. I would just take that contact page. And don't forget, that means you're going to delete that blog. So if you'd bit, the best would be to go to all that code that says iframe and then it has that JavaScript after it, a big chunk of code, just select all that, delete it. You'll see that big gray box in the design view go away. And you should have this empty content area that you can spill in. Uh, your your stuff. So wrestle with that. That's the primary thing. Uh, lastly is this. I want you to simply with that fourth link in your landing page, I want it to go to, I guess you'll have a project five folder. I don't know if we created that, but you should have a project five folder with an index file. And you don't have to have any CSS, just an index file and no images. Okay, so it'll look something like uh, uh, Let's see, did I even do that? Oh my goodness. Well, let me just demonstrate real quick. I'm in Dreamweaver right now. 
go into design view, I'm gonna say file new. And right here where it says new document on the title. Now this is the title that goes in the code, but I'm just gonna say uh, revisions for DFI one projects. Okay, great. And we're gonna get a new blank page in Dreamweaver. We're gonna immediately uh, name the file and put it in the right place. So I'm gonna say file save as, and it's gonna be index of course. And it should be in the project five folder. If you didn't make one already, then that's where it's gonna be. I think, yeah. I think I'd already made one. So you save it there and I'm gonna open this one since I'd already made it. Project five index. Okay, and really just in uh, your view, all I did was this, do something like this. Here are my revisions from all feedback given. And just mention landing page and bullet it out, line it up, what have you done? Since you first submitted in, what have you done to redress this? Unless you made a 100%, which very few, if any of you did on something, uh, there should be something here. I corrected spelling. I adjusted the, spell, the spacing on my menu pads. Uh, my float left wasn't working, my blah, blah, whatever you fixed, okay? Uh, if this is rather minimal, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go look at those pages and see what is it you're, you haven't done, okay? If you had a C on a project and you don't have quite a few of these things listed, then I think there's a problem, all right? So it's really just these three, landing page, the mini folio, and the boutique site. So you can type it just like this, okay? That was easy. You want bullets, you go to window uh, properties, all my properties is already up um, somewhere okay and that's where bullets are right here just like in any text editor uh, I mean just organize it neat I'm not worried about any style I just want to be able to read this and assess this before it's all done so you will correct all those things I want you to upload uh, your entire root folder back to your prism server um, like I said, that'll be my first go. I'll go with that. If for some reason that's not working right, I'll, you will have a backup, which you should have your zipped root folder, entire root folder with all corrections made inside of uh, submitted to Canvas. Okay. Like I say, if you've got uh, specific questions, let me know. But remember, this is somewhat like a week long uh, final exam. You've got like five days to uh, create an email blast, a one page email blast that has the same DNA as your boutique. Now notice I did get rid of that big image in the background. I don't want you to have a big busy image in the background for an email blast, okay? Some people have their images turned off in their email so it just comes in as text. They have to turn that on but also it uh, the bandwidth and it just makes the files a lot cumbersome and more cumbersome and large. All right well good luck to you and uh, have a great uh, remainder of this semester.